Now we turn our attention to the asymmetric bars for the first girls' individual exercise of this half of the uh, display. And we welcome to the asymmetric bars the silver medalist overall in the 1983 World Championships, Olga Mostepanova. And Olga Mostepanova, silver medalist from the World Championships in 1983, a brilliant gymnast now to perform on the asymmetric bars, a piece of apparatus particularly designed for women. Just look at the style and polish of those giant circles. Tremendous work. Just clip the bar on that catch-off, but like a star, she continues without any more mistakes. The skill on asymmetric bars is to keep the routine moving. A little bit short, and she recovered actually from a mistake, and she came off the bar early, but nevertheless, it was brilliant. Now, sports acrobatics. Piece of apparatus, the ribbon. We welcome now the Moscow News International Champion, Venera Zaripova. Modern rhythmic gymnastics, the third element in this uh, Daily Mirror sponsored Russian display. Venera Zaripova, 19 years old. is used in modern rhythmic gymnastics the hoop the ball the clubs the rope the ribbon is certainly the prettiest and from the audience point of view the most enjoyable to watch very difficult to throw and catch this particular piece of hand apparatus Soviet team. Some wonderful work being done on the asymmetric bars. The A bars, a development, of course, from the men's parallel bars. And now another exciting exercise on this apparatus from one of our three 15-year-olds in this Soviet display team, Oksana Omelianchik. Well, many new young stars have got their first introduction to a Western audience at this uh, Wembley display. And this is another Oksana Malenchik, 15 years old, from Kiev. And what a brilliant worker. And it's interesting to note that Anton Lyai Koziev, the junior national uh, training squad manager, is here watching these young stars. And I'm sure he'll be most impressed with that performance in front of this lively audience. Well, now we stay with the girls, we transfer our attention to the beam, another of our 15-year-olds, this time it's Elena Shushanova. And it's fair to say, Monica, that Elena Shushanova really outstanding on the beam. Oh yes, undoubtedly at the Chunichi Cup in Japan, she won the gold medal on beam, and in fact in the overall event came second to the new Olympic champion Mary Lou Retton. But we in the sport call this girl a real gutsy performer because she attacks everything. She's a really positive worker. <coughs> and just look at that. A flick straight back, followed by a straight back. So bold. And all done with really tremendous attack as well. And I think she's got another one to follow here. An Arab Spring straight back. We have difficulty in performing that on the floor, let alone on the beam, which is only four inches wide. I always feel the spectacular uh, 
point about these Soviet gymnasts is the choreography of their floor and beam routines. They always manage to bring in new links, sometimes quite simple skills, but performed really well, and links that have never been performed before. And this really is what the gymnast is after, catching the eye of the judges in competition. And just to add to a brilliant routine, a brilliant dismount, a double back somersault to a really spotted landing there from Elena Shishinova. Most innovative of gymnasts. She has, as I'm sure you all know, had a vault named after her. She invented it. And she was one of the first to work across the beam as well as along it. So it's the overall world champion, Natalia Yurchenko. And here she is, the one and only Natalia Yurchenko. Just sit back and look at the difficulty in this routine. An Arab Spring straight back somersault to land on one leg. Not only is she a master of the difficult tricks, but she is a beautiful gymnast. She looks so calm and so placid, and yet out of the arena, she's full of fun. She's always the leader of all the giggling amongst all of her teammates. But she takes her sport very seriously, as you can see by her tremendous skill level. Won a gold medal in the World Cup in 1982 on this event, and we can see why. Now, just look at this movement. This is working across the beam, a flick flack. She's going to jump, land on her hands, circle around the beam. Very, very few gymnasts in the world doing it, but she was the innovator of that movement. And landing on unsquare on the end of the beam, but still managing to put a very difficult double back somersault dismount onto the end of that beautiful routine. The brilliance of the world champion, Natalia Yushchenko. Well, now to the floor, and of our three 15-year-olds, this one's the youngest. She is, in fact, the youngest member of this Soviet display team, but she is the joint overall European junior champion. It's Irina Baraksanova. Yes, Irina Baraksanova. 15 years old, the new junior European champion. She took that title in Rimini. Comes from Tashkent, 1,000 miles from Moscow. But to get the right training, she's had to move to Moscow to train with the best coaches. A brilliant young classical gymnast. Dance elements, shapes, and feel for music is really something special for somebody who's only 15. A double back somersault, the legs split to assist rotation and a broad base on landing stops the gymnasts from injuring their ankles on such difficult tumbles. use a more difficult combination but with the very busy 1985 season ahead young gymnasts like Irina can't really take any risks in displays and as we can see their policy really is perfection first and difficulty next tremendous difficulty the reasons I've given but certainly a beautiful dancer and a beautiful performer well we retain our attention on the floor because it's time for more rhythmic gymnastics this time with her hoop it's Venera Zaripova
Venera Zaripova on her first visit to London. And one point that has to be made for the modern rhythmic gymnastics here at Wembley, they're working, aren't they, Monica, on a very difficult surface for them? Oh, yes, modern rhythmic gymnastics, gymnasts rather, work on an all-wool carpet and generally on a solid floor. Now, this is a nylon carpet and a sprung floor, so it makes the reaction of the apparatus into the floor very, very difficult to cope with. performed there. Nice contrast in the music and change in tempo. Modern rhythmic gymnasts only work with one instrument, the piano. producing a beautiful hoop routine. Well, now we turn our attention back to the beam. A great Wembley favourite at the beam, former World Cup champion, the reigning World Cup champion, Olga Bicherova. <laughs> Olga Bicherova, the world champion in 1981. Firm favourite with the Wembley crowd, little Olga Bicherova. She's had a very difficult year. She fractured her elbow at the end of last season and she has to cope with coming back into the scene where her Soviet stars around her, younger than her, are learning new movements and she has to try and keep at the top of the ladder. This is the element where she really shows all her marvellous artistry. Oh, she's a tremendous performer. In training, she was having quite a lot of courage problems on that move there called a Corbett, and her coach had to stand in, but as soon as she's put on a pedestal and has to perform, she finds the courage. That's a true artist and a true competitor. She's now 18 year old, very tiny girl, very light frame, built ideally for gymnastics, like so many of these young girls. A very positive take up into a nice high double back somersault there from 1981 world champion Olga Bicherova. No Daily Mirror Soviet gymnastics display would be complete without.